got all, you got all these cameras in front of your face. You're a UFC fighter again. Come on, that that stuff don't excite me. I I, I don't do it for the cameras. Oh, we know that. But it's got to feel good to be back home. Well, yeah, man. I'm I'm happy. Yeah. You happy? Sure. I'm happy to see you back around here. Yeah, I think a little I, excitement in the room. I think the UFC needs a little bit more excitement. I I've been I've been following a little bit and it's been been kind of boring. I think a lot of fans been been, been missing out on some. Some, you know, need a little some, personality. Yeah, it needs a little personality, man. I don't know what's going on over here. I, should I do? Should I do um, um, like uh, personality classes for some of these fighters or something like that, man? Uh, sure. Yeah. Why not? You got I, the experience. Yeah, I think fighting is only half of it. You guys need some personality sometimes. Yeah. 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 Man. Yeah. Like you, you, you with, with no, no shave November and just kept going with it. Look at you. You know, I lost it up here. Oh, okay, I see. So it's called overcompensation. That's what that's, yeah. that's way to do it. Yeah. Look good on you, though. Thanks, man. Look good Appreciate on you. That. Appreciate that. Yeah, you got to hold up your mustache when you eat with a spoon and stuff, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Because yeah, it, it you gets get, in like, my drink food. chocolate milk and get stuck there. Oh, yeah. yeah. The kids like that, though. They yeah. make fun of you. Yeah. yeah, Kids love me. The kids love yeah. you. Was <laughs> there anybody in the division that you immediately have your eyeball on? I got my eyeballs on you right now. Oh, oh, no. No. oh, oh no. Rampage is back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your name is, girl? Uh, I'm Heidi Faye. <laughs> Heidi Faye. You go, girl. Bacon soda. I got bacon soda. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have you back. Is this funny. the type of personality that you're talking about? Oh, yeah, you're just, yeah, you're just going to have fun, man. Some, sometimes fighters are too uptight. They, they're egos. They want to be tough guys and stuff like that. Like, come on, man. You're an MMA fighter. Everybody already know you're tough. So, yeah. What went wrong in Bellator for you? Huh? What went wrong? I already did that interview, Mama. You missed it. I know I heard it, but I was thinking maybe you could tell the cameras here. I already did YouTube. that interview. It was. I'm, I'm I'm all about being positive. They 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 dropped the ball. The UFC picked up picked up the fumble, and let's see if they make the touchdown. You got any idea who you want to get back in there with? I mean, it's a it's a big division, lots of names. Yeah, you lot fought of, a lot of them too. So. Yeah, it's a big division. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, get my, my KOs back up. Yeah. I'm addicted to knocking people out, so I want to I wanna, I wanna knock some heads off. So no wrestlers? No, I fight. Them. Listen, I, you guys you guys misunderstand. I don't mind fighting wrestlers. I just don't like the leg humpers. Yeah. If you're going to take somebody down, you know, do damage when you get to the ground. And that, that way, at least I have the chance of getting back up. If somebody just hug you and land on top of you, you it's hard to get up. Go, You train jujitsu. jitsu a bit. Well, do me a favor. Next time, have somebody take you down and just have them hold you. Then you try to get up. Then next time, have somebody take you down and have them go for the punches or go for the submissions and stuff. And you try to get up and see which one is easier. I didn't do wrestling because I went by the wrestling room. I ain't school. talking about wrestling. They, they were puking in buckets and running. I ain't talking about so, wrestling. Okay, okay. Once you get down to the ground, it's all, it ain't wrestling no more. You're not already wrestled. You're I, not already down. I, re I respect the exertion, the, the physical, the physical... Uh, the, yeah, the audience, so. everybody. I got. I got to clear this up. Everybody think I have problem with wrestlers. I don't. I'm a wrestler. Yes, you are. Thank you. I'm a wrestler. I, I think it's boring just coming wrestling, but I, I. I don't think the. That's not what made the sport popular. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. I feel like uh, MMA evolved so fast. I love this sport, uh, and I think that you know what I'm saying. You get in the cage, you lock the cage, and you guys go out there. You go toe to toe. You go to war. You put on an exciting fight. That's what. That's what made us popular. Look at boxing. Like, even the top. The top name boxers. When the last time, you know, they knock people out. You know, we get a lot of knockouts. We get a lot of finishes. You know, what I'm saying just, 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 just keep it exciting. That's why a guy like Golovkin is so popular now. Who? Uh, Gennady Golovkin. Who that guy? Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. it's from his, from uh, a European from who's season. knocking people's heads off. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. He's got a lot of clout in the boxing world. Yeah, yeah. See, I see. I, I just know Pacquiao Mayweather. <laughs> uh, Amir, Amir Khan. Yeah. You gotta know him now, and and some uh, and some Mexican dude that looks Irish. Talking about Canelo. He got the he Canelo got the red Irish. hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I like that guy. What do you think about uh, his uh, John Jones and Dale and Cormier? Because they got they bring some entertainment back tonight. What do you think about? Yeah, like, see, that's of... yeah, that's the type of stuff that MMA needs. Like uh, I saw the um the the highlights of the press conference, stuff like that. That's good. Did they get fined for that or anything like that? Cause I pushed somebody in Bellator and I got fined a lot of money. <laughs> Did they get fined yeah. for that? Yeah. Okay, well, it's, well, they're gonna make that back. That was that was good though. That was that was that was exciting. How does it compare to your beef with Rashad? Because you guys had a lot of fire too. Well, I, I see. That's all I saw about that. I haven't seen anything. I just saw the highlights. Of that. I don't know what they've been saying. Because most time I see the interviews, I'm in like a, a Vietnamese um, coffee shop with half naked women walking around while I'm drinking my coffee, and I can't hear the TV. <laughs> that's the only time I get. That's the only time I get chance to see that stuff. That's when it's on. You, it's always on at the little bars and, you know, when I be at Dave and Buster's and stuff, you, you know, I'll be up there with my kids and Dave and Buster's and while my kids are playing arcades, I'll be 
they're pretending like I'm drinking beer at the bar because I really don't be drinking. And, uh, and and I see it on the TV and I can't hear it. So that's I don't really watch MMA that much at my house because uh, my TVs are mainly for TV shows and video games. That's all, we, that's all my TV can play. It won't let me play other stuff. How soon are you looking to get back in the cage? I want to get back in there tonight. You, I think I think you'd be a good debut for me. <laughs> you know, we got the same weight class. How much you weigh right now? Uh, 175. You're not you, the same you ain't no 175. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You like at least 230. Damn, man. Right? That's disrespectful. You hurt my feelings. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> my bad. You're talking about March or April, possibly, because there may be some legal concerns and things that have to yeah. happen first. Uh, so right, y'all dig deep into stuff, don't you? You think it'll be some legal stuff? You think you think it'll be some legal stuff? Yeah, possibly the things that have to get ironed out contract-wise and you things. Think so? Yeah. I don't think you guys know what y'all talking about. <laughs> okay, can you explain that to me then? I just, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Bellator gonna put up a, a big fuss because if they, if they try to sue me, I can counter sue them for probably 10, 20 million. So, they, if they were smart, they would just let me walk away and be happy. Just let it go. I, if I was them, if, you know, say I wish I could show you, show you guys the contract. Hey man, what the hell wrong with you? I'm right here. You need a big zoom on that camera and that flash. I know I'm black, but damn, look at all this light. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could show you guys the contract. I, I, I just think, I just think Scott Coker was just, he just, he just felt bad because he got caught lying. He was telling the press, oh yeah, Rampage is good. He's doing a bar. He's doing his gym, and you know what I'm saying. He's, he's busy. That's why he hasn't been fighting. And, I just kept it quiet. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I just like to be positive. I didn't. I didn't say. I didn't tell. I didn't. You know, tell the press or, or anybody that I was upset with them. I just. I. I just let them do them. And while, while they was, while he was lying doing stuff, I, I was with my manager doing the contracts and getting over, getting talk to the lawyers and getting every, everything straight because I was thinking about going over and doing some boxing. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. What were you gonna uh, like do as far as boxing? Uh, in what box. kind of division? What kind of circuit? I was going to, I was going to box in the ring. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking about. Okay. Well, okay, but you had your first conversation with Dana White. How did that go? I never talked to I still haven't still talked haven't, to Dana. You haven't? Still haven't talked to Dana. Where's Dana? Where's Uncle Dana? <laughs> I haven't seen him. So who did you talk to? Um, I got a manager, man. My manager, my manager, I think my manager talked to Dana and, and, and talked to Lorenzo. I talked to Lorenzo. I, I flew out to Vegas and, um, and met with Lorenzo. We had a meeting. Oh, me and Lorenzo, we always, um, we always got along. Those, those guys are great. Honestly, Lorenzo and, and his brother Frank, they are, they are great guys. And Dana's a great guy if you're his friend. If you're Dana's friend, then he's a great guy. It's, anybody's like that. If, you, if I'm your friend, I'm a great guy. If you're not my friend, then I could be an asshole. You know, but you know. Are you Dana friends? I don't know. I don't know. I, like I said, I haven't talked. The last time I talked to Dana was when I left the UFC. I told Dana, I said, "You're gonna miss me." That's the last time, but then I thought this stuff happened with Bellator. I was like, damn, I miss Dana. <laughs> you tweeted not too long ago that it's about uh, sticking with the devil that you know. Right. Uh, how do you think Dana's going to react to that comment? I think he already reacted to it. My manager said he, he said some positive stuff, but, man, you know, I can honestly say this. MMA, the fighters, we're getting taken advantage of. It's plain and simple. I, we all know that, you know what I'm saying, we the, we the hardest working athletes on the planet in any other sport. I don't know I don't know any other sport that, that works harder than us and so we gotta do we have most of us like me I have like four six coaches and a cook to to, to um help me out with my training camps and they don't do it for free and um you know and a manager. So and and we need doctors. We need team doctors. We don't have doctors. Like we don't have doctors in the locker room and stuff like that. And we need all those things and um if we if we got paid more money like football players and basketball players and stuff like that, we can we can afford to do that. We can fight longer and we, and we can we won't have to back out of fight so much and we, you know and we we need that. But you know what I'm saying saying that I think out of all the organizations that I ever fought for, I earned the most in the UFC, and that's why I'm back here. That's why my manager asked me to come back because like I said, I wanted to go do some boxing. My manager like well, you know my manager he he has a way of talking me into doing stuff that. I don't want to do because I didn't want to come here and do press today, but I'm here doing it now because my manager. So same thing. He said, go back to UFC, you know, do a couple of fights, and you know, if you still want to box, then go box after that. But you know, I think my manager don't believe in my boxing skills because I think I can knock some people out. But I think my manager told me in a nice way, no nah, motherfucker, go do some MMA because you know boxing. I remember around UFC 135, you're talking about doing boxing. What has brought this on? I, I've done wrestling. I've done jujitsu tournaments. 
Uh, I've done uh, kickboxing. I, do, I went to K1, and I fought in K1. I've had two fights over there, and I've done MMA. So I've done all my mixed martial arts that I've learned, except for boxing. And you know, so I, and I train a lot of boxing and stuff now. So I just want to go and do at least one boxing match, at least one. Just because, so when I retire from fighting and lay all my gloves down, I can say, you know what? I did everything. I'm a mixed martial artist. I've done. I competed in every aspect of the art that I, that I learned. And boxing is the only one that I, I haven't. It's, people think I'm all about money and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not all about money. If I was all about money, then I never would have, even would have done the 18 movie because I lost money doing that movie. You know what I'm saying? It's like me. It's just I'm a big kid. I just I just want to have fun. I think. I think it'd be fun to go out there and box. You know, if, if I lose, then, you know, I lost. I, you know, people don't understand me. I'm a, I'm a warrior. You don't know unless you're going to do it. Uh, maybe my manager's going to believe in my boxing skills, but I do. I think I can knock this guy out. I think you can. I think you can. Okay. Ah, <laughs> Look at that chin. Look at that chin you got. It's a beard. Quinn, does anything feel different this time around? I mean, you had your first tenure. I mean, you've been around. You've been in a lot of different organizations, but this is a, a second homecoming. You call me an MMA whore? I'm calling you an MMA veteran. Okay, that's an MMA good. legend. Cool. Right, oh, I like yeah. that sound. <laughs> All right, uh, but no. I mean, does anything feel different? Learn things in your in your in your world tour of fighting. I mean, uh, I know, I know, I know a lot. I know my worth a lot more. Uh, when you fight, like the promoters, yeah, uh, they don't want you to know your worth or how much money you make, the numbers and stuff you make. They really don't want you to know that type of stuff. Me going over to Viacom, I kind of learned about what type of um, ratings and stuff that I pull myself, and, uh, and and so I know exactly. Basically, what I, what I'm worth to free TV. I know, I know if I fight, I know how many. Uh, I'm basically, how much ratings I can get for, uh, on free TV and stuff like that. So I, I've learned a lot that type of way. But the the first fight that you guys never see is the, between the fighter and the promoter, and that's something that you know is always going to be the where I learned. I learned. I learned that aspect of, of the game because uh, you know when I was in, in Pride, that's the last thing they wanted me to know uh, how many toys I sold, how many T-shirts I sold. And, and, and that kind of goes back to the double, the double you know kind of right. line, right? Right, because like I said, you know what I'm saying, uh, sometimes people just not fair in business and sometimes, you know, a lot of times the fighters, we the ones that get the short end of the stick, but, you know, like Mike Tyson said, like, man, like, uh, you know, somebody, you know, cheated me out a lot of money, but, you know, at least they made me a lot of money to cheat me out of, so. You talked about money, you talked about losing money doing A-Team. I'm assuming you're referring to not being able to take fights while you were filming the show, right? Right, right, right. And, you know, so, so it, you, it was, me doing A-Team wasn't about money at all. It was about me being a big kid and, right. and being big rockets, you know what I'm saying? So, so you do it again? <clears throat> yeah, yeah I do given it. the, okay. Yeah, I, okay. It's certain, certain, I turn down movies all the time for fights, but you can't, I couldn't turn down B.A. Barakas and so if a role like that if, if I can play somebody like that like if they make it another Blade or something mm -hmm. I get to I, I get to be Wesley Snipes come on I'm a, I'm cool a, techno music at same restaurant yeah I do, I do stuff I do I do fun stuff but they want me to do something stupid I'm like nah I ain't gonna do that it ain't about just going being in the movies it's about having fun we'll do one more question guys if the fighters are getting taken advantage of what's the solution what do you think that's a good question I don't know wait what you guys have you guys have no idea. My friends get mad like, oh, you need to talk to him. You do this, you know. It's the na it's the nature of the beast. What you gotta do is just try to not get taken advantage of so much. It's the nature it's the nature of the beast. You know, I think I think um, the UFC they gave me a great deal, and I, you know I'm happy. Um, you know, Lorenzo gave me a Hellcat. It's, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy, man. They gave me a fun a fun toy, fun car. Like, I, I you know, my deal my deal is is pretty good, and and I. It's not all just about money. It's, it's about respect and stuff as well. And let's let's see. Let's see if um, let's see if uh, UFC, you know, what I'm saying, make this touchdown I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Cool. Good. Yeah. Alexander Gustafsson, nice Anthony Johnson. Thank who's you. gonna win? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. All right. Appreciate it.